Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about disaccharides. Disaccharides are the type of carbohydrates which are having two monosaccharide units joined or held together by glycosidic bond. So we have already discussed what is a glycosidic bond and how it is formed between two monosaccharides in our previous uh, videos. Okay, disaccharides are crystalline in nature and which are water soluble and also sweet in taste okay based on the presence or absence of reducing group in the structure disaccharides again divided into two types reducing disaccharides and non reducing disaccharides okay reducing disaccharides they will be having free aldehyde or keto group to react with the chemical substances that means these free aldehyde or keto group responsible for the reducing property okay examples maltose and lactose and non reducing disaccharide the only example we have sucrose because both aldehyde and keto groups okay that present in these two monosaccharides are involved in the linkage so they uh, sucrose left with no free aldehyde or keto group to react with the chemical substances okay so first one by one we'll discuss maltose okay maltose is a type of disaccharide which consists two monosaccharides and these two monosaccharides are glucose units okay and the linkage is alpha 14 glycosidic linkage okay that means first carbon hydroxyl group of first glucose and fourth carbon hydroxyl group of second glucose involved in the linkage okay so that's why the linkage name alpha 14 glycosidic linkage and it is one of the reducing disaccharide because it is having a free functional group in the other side of the second uh, glucose unit okay maltose is present extensively in barley cereals okay and maltose also formed in the body or you can say digestive product of starch when we take starch complex carbohydrate it will get digestive dextrins okay and then finally to maltose and maltose to glucose maltose as we have discussed in our previous uh, videos maltose gives confirmatory test for wasserzone okay which gives sunflower petal shaped crystals okay under microscope coming to lactose lactose otherwise known as milk sugar because lactose present in milk okay and it is made up of two monosaccharide units one is galactose the other one is glucose and here the conformation of galactose beta form okay so that's why beta galactose and alpha glucose okay and the linkage is beta 14 glycosidic linkage and as the uh, second monosaccharide is uh, glucose which uh, free aldehyde group at the first carbon of second i mean this glucose is free okay which gives reducing properties to this lactose okay and it hydrolyzes it to free galactose and free glucose in the intestine by the enzyme lactase okay and sometimes by beta d galactose dase okay in bacteria it is a source of carbohydrate in breastfeed infants okay in the slides you can see here the orientation of uh, uh, galactose here okay beta form next coming to the final uh, disaccharides okay that is left with non reducing disaccharide that is sucrose okay it is commonly uh, used as a table sugar and contributes some calories in the diet that means the rich source of sucrose is sh uh, sugar cane okay and it contains one mole of glucose and one mole of fructose which are linked by alpha 12 glycosidic linkage okay here the orientation of glucose is alpha form and the orientation of fructose is beta form alpha 1 comma beta 2 glycosidic linkage okay and it is non reducing disaccharide why because the glucose free aldehyde group and the fructose free keto group both are involved in the linkage both are involved in the linkage and sucrose otherwise known as invert sugar okay why sucrose is known as invert sugar here 
the alpha d glucose is dextro rotatory and beta d fructose is levo rotatory okay so what happens when sucrose get hydrolyzed okay the levo rotatory form of fructose overcomes the dextro rotatory property of d glucose okay so that means before hydrolysis sucrose is having dextro rotatory properties but after hydrolysis it will convert into levo rotatory so that's why here the rotation the dextro rotation turning to levo rotation so that's why the inversion okay inversion of sugar is taking place so that's why uh, inversion of sucrose is taking place so it's called as invert sugar okay sometimes in the exams they will ask uh, write something about invert sugar so it should click in your mind the invert sugar is sucrose next coming to other lesser important disaccharides they are isomaltose okay and iso uh, isomaltose is there which is similar to maltose but one thing there is a difference okay in maltose two glucose units are there so this is one glucose unit glucose 1 glucose 2 okay so the first carbon of first glucose fourth carbon of second glucose both involved in alpha 1 4 glycosidic linkage this is in case of maltose but in case of isomaltose C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, CH2, which is the sixth carbon. So, the first carbon hydroxyl group of first glucose and sixth carbon alcohol, primary alcohol, CH2OH, involved in the glycosidic linkage of second glucose. Okay. So, alpha. 1 comma 6 glycosidic linkage so if anyone asks you what is the difference between maltose and isomaltose you should say in maltose the glycosidic linkage is alpha 1 4 in isomaltose the glycosidic linkage is alpha 1 6 okay and this is the derivative product of that means partial hydrolyzed i mean like when starch or glycogen hydrolyzed or broken down okay it's uh, one of the intermediate in this digestive process okay isomaltose because starch and glycogen highly branched okay and this alpha 1 6 uh, glycosidic linkage you can get it only in branching okay so it is hydrolyzed to glucose in intestinal tract by the enzyme isomaltase this enzyme present in the intestine 